Hi, I'm Pastor Kurt, and this is your five-minute Bible study. Today, we're going to look at Genesis 27. This is the story of when Isaac blesses Jacob. So a little bit of background first. In the last video, I talked about Abraham and Sarah. They had the promised child, Isaac. Well, of course, Isaac gets older, and he marries a woman named Rebekah. They have twin sons, Jacob and Esau. Esau is born first, and then Jacob, but they're still twins. Well, as the boys grow up, it turns out that Rebekah became closer to Jacob, and Isaac became closer to Esau. The parents ended up playing favorites. A lot of times when you ask parents, which of your kids is your favorite, the common response is, I love all my kids the same. Here, the parents clearly played favorites. And maybe today, parents play favorites too, but you just don't admit it when somebody asks that question. In this story, Isaac is old, he's blind, he's about to die, and it's time for him to bless his oldest son. As if to say, you are going to now carry on the promise. You're going to carry on the family line. You're going to carry on what God is doing in this family. Since Esau was the oldest, that was supposed to be Esau getting that blessing. Well, in this story in Genesis 27, Rebekah, Isaac's wife, comes up with this plan for Jacob, her favorite son, to get the blessing. She tells him to dress up like his brother. His brother's all hairy, so she tells him to put on animal skins so that when his blind father touches him, he'll think it's Esau. He'll still sound like Jacob, but old and blind Isaac will think, well, this, this feels like Esau, so maybe it is Esau. Well, the plan worked. Jacob did what his mom said, went through with it. He got the blessing. When Esau returns and tries to get the blessing, then Isaac is all confused thinking, wait a minute, I thought I just blessed you. Turns out he blessed Jacob, and then Esau gets furious. The thing to notice in this story are a couple of things, actually. One is that families in the Bible are broken. Sometimes when we think about biblical characters, we think that they were these perfect people. They weren't. They were everyday people just like you and me but God still worked through them. They had relationship struggles. They had family dynamic struggles. They played favorites. All this sort of common human selfish stuff, it happened in the Bible too. There are plenty of examples in the Bible of broken people and broken families, yet God continues to work through them. There are parents who play favorites. There's jealousy among siblings. There's all of this normal, stressful family stuff that we see in our lives that also shows up in the lives of the families in the Bible. So if you think you've got family problems, if you think your family's kind of messed up, if you think you've got weird things going on in your household, just remember that God can still work through you. God still worked through Isaac and Jacob and continued this line. We'll see it more as we continue to look through the Bible at other families too. But that's the thing I wanted us to think about today. That even though this family of Isaac and Rebekah and Esau and Jacob, even though their family was broken... God still worked through them. God still did great stuff through them. We'll look next time at what happened when Esau found out that Jacob took his blessing. He was furious, but we'll see what happens with those two brothers. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.